Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Starfield once more. Uh, we're still in New Atlantis and we just passed the flight simulation or the flight simulator here in order to yeah, proceed with our application to the UFC so we can finally also to the Vanguard so we can do some missions out there, some bounty hunting, probably some dangerous missions more or less as well. Sarah Morgan is still following us along as well. We still don't really know who we are at this point. We just know that we were a miner, right, and found an artifact that gave us new powers, probably also an insight into something as the mysteries of the universe, and probably also hinting alien life. That would be a breakthrough indeed. But before all of that, of course, we need to prove ourselves. Yeah, and this is where something. we are right now, in the headquarters of the Vanguards. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Well, I wrapped up my piloting exam and they told me to come back here. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Your thing. Then let's get to him. Oh, he's got a big fat smile so, on him. Looking at the data. Checked out a few of the murals. Good. Inquisitive folks tend to do well around here. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? All right, clear tier three. We try to set a high bar, so that's no small feat. Nice work. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. What does she so mean then, by that? Looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only 10 years service. Better than your average lab rat or diplomat, but pretty standard for folks going out into combat. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So... You ready to do the deed? Of course we are. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Alright, so we become a vanguard now. And also get us some new missions. So this is one of the factions we can join. The same with the constellation. I guess Sarah is just following along. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I do. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died place is as isolated as they come so brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure so can the people of tau city 2 count on you i guess so that's the spirit head down to the spaceport and talk to crew chief harath he'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit 
Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Perfect. And Zoe also joined the next faction and get a level up as well. Level 4. Um, what we haven't done yet is applying skill points to my character. And as we can see, of course, we do have now a bunch of them, right? We got four three points available that we can then choose into one of these here. So we got the ballistics. We can, of course, unlock new traits as well. Ballistics is one of my starting traits here. Um, I think the other one was then also the wellness. So we can um, increase my maximum health here by 10% each. That doesn't sound so bad. You can do more damage. And then there was also the flying. So you can now utilize ship thrusters. All right, as always, I would like to carry a bit more stuff than the base game al allows me. So let's actually unlock us the first weightlifting. We got a bit of strength here right now. That's the new trait. Um, we also have now the challenge with that unlocked. So this is actually something where I think it's important to unlock them as early as possible because you actually progress with them now. So whenever I sprint for 1000 meters while at 75% or more of a maximum load capacity, I can level this one up here and get more um, physical uh, capacity then. All right, I still need to unlock also the trade to use boost packs. So let's go ahead and give me another trade in here. This would be that. And boost jump 10 times while in combat is then my challenge here that we can progress. I destroy the five ships. So we could theoretically go ready for the next rank here. Piloting increases ship turning rate and maneuverability. Doesn't sound so bad. Or also going a bit more into combat. So lasers do more damage. And with that, I would unlock the laser challenge. Now, we do have a laser weapon unlocked right now or equipped right now. And we do also have the ballistic. So this is already giving me the 10% bonus here that we have. We could go for 20% more, but that I think is not... Or we go full into ballistics. I would need to check if we have any ballistic weapon with that. Hmm. Or we're going a bit more into scavenging as well. There's a chance you'll find extra credits when searching containers. Let's go ahead with this one here as my next skill point. That we've used them all for the moment. Very good. And unlocking the mission now. Grunt work. Okay, another thing I need to do is talk with the ship's technician. So let's go ahead. Have a look what he's Managed got to, to say. Bullet for leeches, get it fixed up and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Yeah, I think I'm all set. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Alright, so we got our first kit as well. Is that my ship? I think it is. Yeah. This is not my ship. It's a Vanguard racer. So let's go ahead and I think head to space for our first two missions now that we have. Three, ready to land. All right, there we are on the planet of Taos 82. Another, yeah, well, not so friendly looking planet. But I think those are the ones that are procedurally generated, right? So they're always looking a bit different for every player, I guess. Depends also, of course, on the amount of assets that in this game have been used. So we'll just see that. And there's this outpost of settlers. Oh, this is looking like there might have been a problem. I'm just going to loot you. He will not care anymore. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Let's rather get my weapon out there. Doesn't look so great. Alright, we have the boost pack. Unfortunately, it doesn't chat me up at the moment. Okay, 
investigate the streams. There was a scream? Certainly not human. Either I got hit harder than I thought, or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But be quiet. There she is. And there really seems to be a monster of some sorts. An alien creature, perhaps. That was doing all that. Hello there. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Actually, the Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things are aware. I could also lie to her. Let's not Vanguard, do this. Huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. Sounds like you could use my help. Uh, terramorph, what's that? We already know this, and... Okay. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. <sighs> but there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. All right, let's get that security system Good. back online. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. All right, let's restore the security systems and there's some over there. There's also computer I could use and some more loot. This is my chat bag. Not very strong yet, so we definitely will need to upgrade that down the road. Okay, so, but I think we can uh, definitely use way more equipment, right? So it's 145, not 135 anymore, I think. Okay, I think we are very close now. This is closed. Oh, it's still outside. Security, automated defense, security system. Reset the connection. I think that's it. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plants turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings. And you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Oh, hello? I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. <sighs> but it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Okay. This one here. System is off. Turn the tracking system on. 
And I guess we need to track in the frequency now. There it is. And targets one. Target detected. Trackers reading green. What's that sound? Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. There it is. So I guess we have two options now. Either we kill it directly, try to kill it directly, or we activate these power bricks. So I think let's try this first. I mean, wherever it is, I hope it's not close. That's number one. Yeah, number two and number three is over there. And number two is closer. Yeah, the thing was over there on the left side. There it is. It's a level 10 one, we're level four. I think we have engaged it. Yep. All right, let's actually run. Sarah will do the rest. That's number two. Oh, these are the lights already. It's firing. Problem is Sarah is actually blocking it, I think. Now it's coming. Oh my, they're not doing a lot of damage though. We don't have any any ammunition anymore, but it should be fine. It's down. The Terra Morph. It's a miracle we were able to hold them down. At least we avenged the deaths of the colony. There's some alien samples. That part of the life form should prove useful. I guess we have to tell her about our, our success. Oh, some credits there. And we also lose, by the way, oxygen. So we can see this on the lower left side, the white bar that is going down when I'm walking. We always need to be careful by how much we are walking. Trekker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Heavens above, you just flatlined a terror morph. All taken care of. <laughs> yeah, taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Here you go. We got no sample. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. you can do running basic diagnostics nothing maybe a flag scan no. I'm a bit creeped Spectrum. out that she's always staring at me Damn. I mean I know by now that she likes me but this <laughs> this equipment it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample but this terramorph being here of all places it doesn't make sense 
Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Okay, I'm sure there's a rational explanation to this. Or it sounds like we need to do something quick. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. Get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Okay, don't worry. I'll make sure my commander agrees. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars at least. Now please go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. All right. Oh, we got some 1800 credits there. And we need to return to our commander now. Of course, I can still have a look around on the base, but we've already scavenged quite a bit. There's, a There's some amps here, some medical pads. Being prepared and carrying too much. Oh, and I think we're also carrying a bit too much now. And when we're carrying too much, we cannot fast travel. Let's just see what loot we got. We got 10 items. That is the alien genetic material. So this is what we need to deliver then. We also got this rare pistol doing a lot of ballistic damage. Hmm, 30% damage against aliens on top of it. Nice trait there probably going to keep it and then we got some more terramorph cells that we're going to need as well i think i got from the pirate charger spacesuit i've got yeah of the soul spacesuit i actually got two so i might just clean up my inventory and then we had to mars i mean holy cow it's actually worth having a look around because we got this ablative calibrated navigator spacesuit which gives a lot of additional energy and magnetic uh, protection and also airborne action and also a negative 15% incoming energy damage let's equip this one so we got a new nice spacesuit now that also makes it look like we're not a pirate anymore at the very least that's something okay we also get some weightlifting skill because I'm yes. running around here with Maybe almost something. a full inventory right if we do this a couple more times we probably can level up our weightlifting already um, and there's the vanguard once again, so my commander. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the vanguard whenever you're ready. Okay, I need your permission to deliver a terramorph tissue sample to Mars. 
A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? No survivors, sir. All lost to a terror morph, which I killed. Uh, one, only one alive was a researcher who gave me a sample and a gene tag. A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data has been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Okay, Xeno Warfare doesn't sound too good, so this might actually be an urgent mission then. Certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? Mm, she's not sure what it means. She's afraid there could be more attacks like this one wipe, wiped out the people of Tau City. Okay, she actually told me that she doesn't know what, she, what it means, I, right? I see. This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you. Supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. Perfect. Some experience points as well. And we also reach level 5. And are now part of the Vanguard officially. So the first thing is, we definitely should get our ship a bit modified. Of course, we're going to sprint. <laughs> because we do need those points. It's a bit strange that I'm the only one wearing a spacesuit. Before we head out, we could also just have a look what we can see in or what we can find in New Atlantis. There is the viewport. There's a bartender, and we should talk with one of Hello. them. Anything I can do for you? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Mm, yeah, I didn't think it was that obvious. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just... Something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. I could use a drink. You're in the right place. All right. And we can purchase actually some alcohol here. It gives me some boosts. Carry capacity for five minutes. That doesn't sound so bad. But not five of them. One is fine. That cost me 450 credits. We got 307, uh, 3,700. One is really fine. Can she actually also purchase something from us? No. Heard any rumors? Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well. Speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. Right, I guess nothing else that she has. That is one of the activities that we can do here. Okay, and but of course we're going to Welcome jump to, to the solar system over here to Mars. Beautiful Mars. Can we actually see Earth from here? Small blue dot perhaps somewhere? Not really. 
Let's go ahead and land on it because we of course need to deliver that alien sample. Beginning landing cycle. Alright. And so we are on Mars. And a base Sidonia. Not much to see here at the moment. Only a few buildings and structures. So let's just have a look where we need to go. We need to orient ourselves first. There's we're the only ship, by the way, that has landed here for the moment. Now let's just check it out. Is the mission not active? It's not active. Need to be active for us to see something. I love that jetpack because we can finally jump down and are not limited anymore to heights. Let's just sprint as well to always get our skill there as well. And there we have it! 1000 of 1000. Sprint for 1000 meters and we can unlock now the next perk. Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. Hey, welcome to the Sidonia Trade Authority. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Right. Uh, can you tell me more here? But cool. Looking to That's make a trade, and this he purchased something. Yes, we can now sell some stuff. I mean, I'm not entirely sure that we should sell it or salvage it, but I definitely have so much stuff with me right now that I want to just get rid of some of it, make some credits out of it. So, yeah, this shotgun here, perhaps. Uh, the cutter we're going to keep. I've got two of these deep mining suits. Famous cap. Departure time, that's the drink. For the carry capacity, we can actually sell it. Another smaller item here. These are low level weapons. Getting rid of some of them. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Solvents, this is all for crafting materials in here, more mining stuff. I think I'm, I can keep that for the moment, actually. Yep, we sold a bit. Come back anytime. Alright. This low gravity will make surface traversal. Oh, there is something behind him. There he is. Invoices can be collected from the Oh. Not here for a delivery. Are you? I was told a man named Walker works here. Oh, that sounds better. Captain Valken Delaney Vanguard. <laughs> I need Walker's help investigating a troubling discovery. Do you now? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. Okay, I can try and track him down. Or you don't sound particularly interested in finding him. We're no longer interested in Dr. Walker's services. He did leave his post, however, with a sizable debt to his name. If you were to find him and get him to pay, the Trade Authority would be most grateful for it. 
Oh, I loathe the Trade Authority. Is it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? No, I'm not your bill collector. I couldn't have put that better myself. Oh, very good. She actually likes that. Pity. Perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. If someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is, you'll find them there. Okay. All right. This is also one of my traits here, right? That we get a better boost than with our fighting powers when we get the approval of one of my companions. So Sarah approved of my actions here. Um, and we continue onwards here, finding Dr. Walker on Mars in the next episode. Stay tuned.